The pathetic human fleet looked like nothing more than floating scrap metal as Supreme Commander Niran stood on the bridge of his Katarian flagship and scoffed, knowing his warships could blast the primitive vessels into space dust in an instant. His subordinates chuckled along with him as he remarked how this ragtag group of relics was no match for the might of the Katarian armada. Admiral Adams, urgent transmission from orbital defense, massive alien fleet inbound, technology far beyond ours. Scans show we're severely outmatched, sir. Stephen felt his blood run cold at the emergency report, but he refused to let dread take hold. He rushed to the command center, staring resolutely at the holographic scans of the menacing Katarian ships. A staggering technological gap yawned between them and Earth's piecemeal defenses. Yet Stephen trusted in human ingenuity and tenacity to somehow find a way. He hailed the Katarian commander, diplomacy the first course of action even in this dire hour. But the alien leader merely laughed, his face twisted with arrogance and disdain on the viewscreen. Your immediate surrender is the only option, human. Resistance is futile. Stephen's eyes flashed with steel and he stood tall. We will fight to the last breath to defend our home. Do not underestimate our resolve. Neron scoffed derisively, proclaiming how inferior humans were to the mighty Katarians as his warships advanced. As the enemy bore down on Earth, Stephen knew the time had come. He gave the order to bring humanity's ace in the hole online, a cutting-edge AI defense grid that could link their ships into an adaptable fighting force, designed in secret by Earth's greatest scientific minds for this very contingency. When the system booted up, the human fleet began moving with stunning precision, as if controlled by a single mastermind. Auto turrets locked onto targets with flawless accuracy. Drone swarms overwhelmed point defenses. Cyber strikes sliced through the aliens' vaunted shields. The Tarians reeled, suddenly outmatched by the very ships they had just mocked. Neron bellowed with rage as sirens wailed on his bridge, a panicked officer reporting the humans had breached their central computer. He watched in stupefied disbelief as the Earth fleet tore his warships apart with unorthodox but brutally effective tactics. Tarian weapons glitching and misfiring under the cyber onslaught. Though outnumbered and outgunned, the grid of Earth's spacers shone through as they pushed the AI-boosted counterattack. Pilots accepted that they might die so humanity could live. Damage reports flooded in, and Stephen's jaw tightened, the price of survival tallying higher with each ship lost. The Katarians reeled as their arrogant preconceptions shattered. They had grievously underestimated their adaptable, indomitable human foes. Niran faced a momentous decision as the tide turned before his eyes. Keep fighting against these maddeningly resilient humans, throwing lives into the grinder of their improbable stand, or salvage his battered forces and retreat before the Terrans could seize the initiative and end his campaign in humiliating defeat. The Katarian commander snarled, fist shaking with rage as the choice loomed before him, and the unthinkable reared its head, humans sending the Katarian collective running. Uh, Admiral Stephen Adams raced between command stations in the sprawling underground bunker serving as Earth's impromptu nerve center. The waning hours before the Katarian juggernaut arrived had become a mad scramble of desperate improvisation. On wall-spanning monitors, Real-time feeds showed Earth's moon-based shipyards operating in overdrive. Skeletal frameworks of battlecruisers took shape at breakneck speed, swarmed by the sparks of a thousand robotic welders. Assembly lines disgorged wave after wave of freshly minted combat drones, their sleek forms overflowing with the latest in human weapons tech. Drone production at 250% of nominal rates and climbing, sir, an engineer reported from her console churning out force multipliers faster than projected. Stephen nodded curtly. Get those drones integrated with the AI grid ASAP. We'll need the extra punch. In an adjacent lab, disheveled scientists hunched over jury-rigged prototypes, racing to decode and repurpose Katarian technology recovered from the initial skirmish. Components ripped from fallen alien craft were strewn across workbenches, dissected and analyzed for potential breakthroughs. I want those point-defense countermeasures reverse-engineered yesterday, 
Stephen barked. We can't let the Katarians swat our drones like flies. Elsewhere, grizzled veterans drilled elite commando teams on audacious Tarian ship boarding tactics. In full combat exoskeletons, the saboteurs repelled across mock-up enemy corridors, rehearsing the art of hijacking critical systems from within. Even the emptied civilian dockyards swarmed with activity as transports and mining haulers underwent emergency retrofits. Cargo bays morphed into magazine wells, industrial lasers into ersatz cannons, an unorthodox militia to supplement Earth's thin battle line. Auxiliary craft at 80% combat readiness, a deck officer confirmed, outfitting on schedule. In a hardened command pod, Stephen linked into the defense grid's evolving neural network. His mind raced as he beheld Earth's astronomical redoubts, where robotic foundries churned megatons of asteroid ore into kinetic kill vehicles and volatile space-borne mines. A deadly harvest awaited the invaders. The Admiral's eyes gleamed as he absorbed the flood of data, neurons interfacing with the AI's sprawling knowledge base. Moment by moment, contingency algorithms and unorthodox battle plans took shape. When the Tarian Armada finally sliced into Earth orbit, it was met by a hurricane of human defiance. The skies swarmed with clouds of nimble combat drones, AI-guided and wielding the latest plasma lances. Kiloton slugs of guided asteroid debris hammered the enemy vanguard, saturating their shields faster than they could cycle. Armored marines and single-pilot meteors lanced into compromised Katarian hulls, storming the innards like ancient submarine pirates. Crippled ships reeled as multiple systems glitched and failed, subjected to incapacitating cyber strikes and vicious deck-to-deck -deck fighting. Commanding from his flagship's smoke-wreathed bridge, Supreme Commander Niren bellowed orders for a counterattack, only to be met with stuttering comms and panicked damage reports. His grand warships, technological terrors that had crushed a dozen upstart races, found themselves entangled in a deadly web of unorthodox human tactics. Attrition alarms wailed as the cost in blood and metal spiraled. Incensed, Niran ordered a hunter-killer squadron to pinpoint and eliminate Stephen's command ship. Surely beheading the human resistance would crush their insolent defiance. But his search-and-destroy craft found only human feints and ambushes, the elusive admiral always one step ahead, baiting pursuers into kill zones of converging fire. As the toll of shattered ships and mangled crews mounted with appalling speed, Niran began to grasp the deadly truth. For all his armada's crushing firepower, the versatile and utterly committed humans were fighting with a savage brilliance the Katarians couldn't seem to pin down. Like an agile wolf tirelessly besetting a lumbering bear, the Terrans clung on with implacable tenacity. Yet even as the Katarian onslaught slowed in the face of escalating losses, Earth bled grievously too. One by one, Stephen's intrepid ships winked out in blossoms of fractured metal, buying mankind's survival with their lives. The carnage swelled unimaginably as the battle raged, neither side yielding. Admiral Adams's face was a mask of torment as casualty reports flooded in, friends and comrades lost. But at any expense, he swore Earth would stand. Admiral Stephen Adams paced the bustling command center, his mind racing. The battle for Earth's survival raged on, but a glimmer of hope emerged. Years of studying Tarian tactics had revealed a crucial weakness, their rigid power structure. Stephen's lips curled into a grim smile. It was time to exploit that weakness. Sir, Infiltration Team Alpha is in position, a comms officer reported. Stephen nodded. Execute Operation Trojan Horse. Aboard a crippled Katarian destroyer, human commandos in exosuits clambered through jagged hull breaches. Plasma bolts sizzled past as they fought room by room, inching closer to the central computer core. Hostiles ahead, Team Leader Rodriguez barked. Suppress and advance! The infiltrators unleashed a hail of fire, overwhelming the Katarian defenders. Rodriguez slammed an override module into the computer core's access port. We're in, Admiral! Back on Earth, cyber warfare specialist Chen cracked her knuckles. Initiating virus upload, now. A cascade of data flooded Katarian networks. Ship systems went haywire, 
spewing false reports and conflicting orders. On Naran's flagship, pandemonium erupted. Sir, we're detecting friendly fire from the third battle group, an officer shouted. Impossible, Niran snarled. Get me a status report. But each console told a different story. Sensor ghosts. Phantom enemies. Fake distress calls. The Katarian command structure began to crumble. Stephen seized the moment. Launch the polymorphics. Earth's hidden arsenal roared to life. Swarms of shape-shifting warheads streaked toward the Katarian fleet. Their liquid payloads morphed and adapted, slipping past bewildered point defenses to breach enemy hulls. Niran bellowed in frustration as explosions rippled across his armada. How are they penetrating our shields? But worse was yet to come. Stephen gave the order. Detonate the hypermatter charges. Rigged asteroids detonated at key points in the Tarian formation. Space itself seemed to buckle and tear. Entire squadrons found themselves cut off, adrift in the chaos. Katarian discipline shattered. Captains ignored orders, fleeing or fighting at will. The mighty invasion force devolved into disorganized clusters. Stephen watched the enemy fracture, his expression hardening. They'd struck a critical blow, but the war was not nearly finished. Earth's battered defenders pressed the attack, seizing this fleeting advantage. The fate of humanity hung in the balance. Stephen knew the next moves would determine everything. Stephen's eyes narrowed as he watched the tactical display. The fractured Katarian fleet presented a fleeting opportunity, one he couldn't afford to waste. All units, this is Admiral Adams, he broadcast. Redirect all reserve combat drones to Vector 117 by 42. Target, the Katarian flagship. Execute now. A chorus of acknowledgments rang out as swarms of sleek, deadly drones surged toward their new objective. Stephen zoomed in on the enemy command ship, its shields flickering erratically from previous battle damage. The first wave of drones struck like a thunderbolt. Tarian point defense guns spat streams of plasma, swatting many from the sky. But for each drone destroyed, three more took its place. They swarmed over the hull, searching for weak points. Breaching charges detected, a sensor officer called out. Multiple hull ruptures imminent. Stephen leaned forward, tension evident in every line of his body. This was the moment of truth. A series of explosions blossomed across the Katarian flagship's surface. As the smoke cleared, a massive hole gaped in its armored flank. Stephen allowed himself a grim smile. Phase one complete. Second wave, you are clear to deploy, he ordered. Happy hunting. From the bowels of Earth's orbital stations, a new breed of drone emerged. Bulky, armored monstrosities filled with weapons. The hunter-killers had arrived. They poured through the breach like a tide of metal and malice. Stephen watched their progress through their own optics, wincing as Tarian defenders were cut down in droves. The infiltrators moved with ruthless efficiency, not slowing even as some of their number fell to desperate alien fire. Warning klaxons blared across the command center as the drones neared the Katarian bridge. Stephen's breath caught in his throat. This was it. The final blast door exploded inward. Through the infiltrator's cameras, Stephen saw Supreme Commander Niran, defiant to the last. Their eyes met across impossible distance, mutual understanding passing between them in that frozen moment. Then chaos erupted. Weapons fire filled the air. The feed dissolved into static and screams. We've lost contact with the infiltration team, an officer reported. Wait, sir, I'm detecting a massive power surge from the Tarian flagship. Their reactor's going critical. Stephen watched impassively as the enemy command ship tore itself apart in a series of cataclysmic explosions. Debris rained across the battlefield, peppering Earth's battered skyline. All around him cheers erupted as the tide of battle shifted decisively. But Stephen remained silent, his face a mask of stone. The cost of victory took a toll upon him. As reports of Katarian surrenders flooded in, Stephen found his gaze drawn to the scarred face of his homeworld. The scars of this conflict would not soon fade, neither for Earth nor for himself. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, 
please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.